in 2006 when I was diagnosed, my HMO doctors suggested a prompt surgery or radiation. When I joined the HMO support group, I felt that the presentations were, were quite average. They seemed to, to be skewed towards what the HMO had to offer. And I questioned the fact that maybe there were other ways to, to treat uh, my PC, but they wouldn't have it any other way. And therefore, I started questioning even more why we were not given more information and uh, because of what I call voracious uh, appetite for knowledge as far as my condition was concerned, I went against the, the tide and I chose watchful waiting uh, at the time and they said that I was out of my mind. They told me that only patients 75 or over should consider watchful waiting as an option. At that time I was 61. They ignored, mainly ignored my, my questions or at times I had to hold my hand up for over 20 minutes until they would acknowledge me uh, or even wait until the end of the of the meeting to to say go ahead and ask, <laughs> ask your question uh, they also were belittling our questions they called our research suggestions a fad eventually I was called aside and told to be quiet I had to be quiet at the meetings but the rest of the group was surprised some were staying past the regular meeting to be able to talk to me in our smaller active surveillance meeting and uh, they started asking those uncomfortable questions in later sessions. Our attendance increased and more patients participated. We would discuss our findings immediately after the general meeting had dismissed. Months later, the HMO banned us from their conference rooms. We used their waiting rooms and their cafeterias to have our meetings. And eventually, we chose a restaurant chain. The HMO staff gradually change their attitude. Many of the proposals and procedures that we suggested are now mainstream in our HMO. Particularly the active surveillance option for low-grade prostate cancer patients. We now feel that our work has finally paid off. Our motto is act from knowledge, not from fear.